It's Tuesday morning, and you're here with me, Thomas Heath, on Deets Beats and Dancing Feet. Tips to improve your DJ performance and to bring unique experiences to your couples, their guests, their friends, and their families. This is our introductory episode. This is our first episode. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about me, a little bit about why you should watch me, and what you might get out of Deets Beats and Dancing Feet. I'll be back in just a few moments. Welcome back to Deets, Beats, and Dancing Feet. This is our introductory episode. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the show. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I hope you'll get out of it. And a little bit about my story. First off is my story. Michael Lenstra wrote an amazing article in the Disc Jockey News called From Tragedy to Dancing Feet. And that really goes over my story. And if you happen to catch that, great. And if not, here it is. Back in 1999, I was working as a process engineer in an automotive factory. Sounds super fun, right? It was a great job that paid the bills, but it wasn't my passion. I'd always been a musician. I play violin and I played violin all the way through school. And so that was always in the back of my mind thinking, and I would really love love to be able to play music and get paid for it. I've been in a couple of bands as a singer or as a guitarist, and they just never really panned out. I started working with a guy on the midnight shift, and he would keep calling out songs and saying, hey, what song is this? Or, hey, what song is that? And I'd always know what they were. We were about the same age, so we had the same tastes in music. After a little bit of this back and forth for a couple of months, he invited me to join him as he was going to DJ a wedding. Now, I had been, I was married, but I could not remember the experience that I had with my DJ. So I was interested to see what might have changed. By the end of that night, I was mixing songs, I was on the microphone, and I was hooked. I'd finally found something where I could make money and be a performer. After a few months, I created a website and our leads started doubling. So I was getting more and more work. I went with, uh, with the two guys to a couple of their weddings and I thought I could do this a little, a little differently. I could do this a little bit differently. So after a little bit of deliberation, we decided that it would be best if we just parted ways and A plus digital DJs was born. I know you're thinking A plus digital DJs, what a terrible name for a DJ company. Well, back in those days, we didn't have to worry too much about the names as long as they showed up in these big yellow things that were lots and lots of pages of phone numbers and ads called the Yellow Pages. We didn't have to worry about the fact that you can't put a plus sign in a web address or an email address. Hadn't really thought about that. So it wouldn't be the name that I picked now. But A plus Digital DJs has stuck. There were a ton of bumps along the way. But one of the things that I have to say is that I'm a basically a self-taught DJ. And that I taught myself how to DJ a wedding, how to actually DJ at a wedding, and how to market my growing business. I'm hoping that through this show, I'll be able to help you alleviate some of those stresses and miss some of those bumps in growing your business. 
I'm a lot of things to a lot of people. I'm a husband. I'm a father. I'm a DJ. I'm a musician. I'm a master of ceremonies. But I am also a creator. I work with my couples to create unique moments and memorable experiences that they can share with their family, with their friends, with the people that are the most special to them, and have them talk about these events for the rest of their lives. As Michael posted in his story in 2012, my wife Stacy passed away suddenly. Stacy had helped me to build A plus into a very well sought out and well thought of respected business in our small market. Uh, I live in a city of about, of about 5,000 people and it's a destination wedding market. Word of mouth advertising, referrals from other vendors and uh, reviews from our past clients really helped to grow what we do. When Stacy passed away, I was devastated. Uh, we have two wonderful kids, Katie, my daughter, and Brendan, my son. Brendan was still in high school at the time. I didn't know what to do. Uh, Stacy had helped me to build A+, plus, like I said before, but I was concerned that it would not be able to support Brendan and I full time. I did make that decision at that time, however, to stop doing other jobs, focus strictly on A plus so that I could spend as much time as possible and not miss any of Brendan's extracurricular activities. He was in band, uh, he was in robotics, he was in lots of lots and lots of stuff. I wanted to be sure that I was there for those moments. I did everything I could not to miss any of his activities, and there were a lot. Now, during that time, I met a wonderful woman named Shannon. She quickly became my biggest cheerleader. She pushed me and encouraged me to grow A+, plus so for it to be a full-time job, so that I wouldn't miss any of those special moments with Brendan and with Katie. She encouraged me to make it into a full-time career and the rest was history. Shannon is now my wife. She works with A plus behind the scenes. She doesn't want to be out in front of people, not too often, to help plan, organize, and facilitate our events. A plus event entertainment has grown from a single op company in 2012 to a multi-op company that incorporates live musicians, photo booth, DJs, and masters of ceremonies. So why should you listen to me? I'll tell you that right after the break. DJ Event Planner will change the way you manage and run your business. Streamline all of your procedures and software into one easy to manage system. DJ Event Planner, the ultimate online planning tool. Hi, welcome back. As I said before the break, I was going to tell you, why should you listen to me? It's a good question. I'll tell you, I've done a lot of weddings. I've been doing this for a long time. And I did mention I was a self-taught DJ. So what that means is, when I started, we didn't have Facebook DJ groups. We didn't have instantaneous contact with industry leaders, true professionals and trainers. We didn't have workshops. We didn't have conventions. It wasn't what it is now. So we had to navigate all of the bumps along the road and we had to figure out ways to get around those bumps on our own. It's been said that there's a risk and reward to everything that we do in life. And as wedding DJs, this couldn't be more true. Because the risk 
is you only have one shot. You have one shot to either make or break a moment or an event because there are no do-overs. There are no take twos. So you have to nail it the first time. I've grown my business from a single op part-time DJ to a multi-op with four systems that can go out on any Saturday. I DJ 50 weddings per year myself. In the last three years, that's 150 weddings. Combine that with the rest of my team, and in the last three years, we've DJed just about 400 weddings. We couldn't do that without, if we weren't good, if we didn't know what we were doing. Another measure for success is your bottom line. In 2012, our average event rate was $585. In 2017, that average went up to $1,650. 2018, we we're at over 2,100 per event. Now, I, along with some of my team members, travel all over the country. We go to conventions like Mobile Beat, Wedding MBA, and Midwest DJs Live, just to name a few. We attend workshops, and we learn how to better serve our clients, new trends, and ways to show and showcase what we do. My business is based on weddings. 95% of our weddings are destination weddings. Like I said, I live in a small town with 5,000 people. But it's a really nice place to be for a weekend. We've been able to grow our business through referrals, recommendations from other wedding professionals, and word of mouth advertising. Now, the word of mouth advertising comes in the form of reviews. And we have won lots of awards based solely on reviews from our past clients. In fact, in 2018, A Plus Event Entertainment was inducted into the Knot Hall of Fame. If you don't know what the Knot is, check it out on thenot.com. Now for our show format. Each show will be in three parts. Part number one, the introduction of our topic. We'll figure out what we're gonna talk about so we can get to the meat, which is the story about how I've either, either dealt with or avoided this topic, or how the process can be used for your own events. We're gonna finish each show with a tiny action step, a nugget that you can immediately implement into your business to help create better experiences for your clients. Today's action step is pretty simple. What's your story? Think about where you came from, why you started DJing, why do you DJ now? Is it your passion? Tell me about it. You can leave a comment down below or you can post in our brand new Facebook group, Deets, Beats, and Dancing Feet. Thanks for your time. And I'll see you on Tuesday. <laughs>